A person with dual citizenship is facing federal charges for operating as an illegal Russian agent. And now Kauai has become the center of that investigation. KITV4's Tom George is live now. Kauai became a target for Russian influence over the name of a fort, Tom? Yeah, that's right. This is the ethics complaint right here that landed Kauai Council member Felicia Cowden in hot water over a trip she took to Russia. At the same time, Russian interests were lobbying not to change the name of Fort Elizabeth on Kauai. It turns out one of the key players in that effort, Elena Branson, who prosecutors allege had connections all the way to Putin himself. Our story begins on the shores of Kauai during another tumultuous time in history. With tensions still high after Kamehameha uniting the Hawaiian Kingdom, George Schaefer with the Russian American Company arrived, convincing the last chief of Kauai to allow him to build this fort on the promise the Tsar might help him get his island back. But Schaefer's story didn't add up. And Kamuli sought assistance from Kamehameha to kick him out of the kingdom, and he left. The fort stayed, but it wasn't until years later it became commonly known as Russian Fort Elizabeth. Telling accurate history, including the perspectives of Native Hawaiians and all indigenous people at that time, wasn't really a priority. Recently, though, Native Hawaiians on Kauai have been pushing for a return to its Hawaiian name, Paula Ula. Mauna Kea Trask says after some initial success, they began facing opposition. Elena Branson, the accused Russian agent now facing federal indictment, kept popping up at the center of emails and lobbying efforts to keep the Russian name in place. And they had planted a Russian flag in the middle of Paula as like a almost like a show of um, presence, you know, like a, a claiming a, a Hawaiian site. They also seem to find an ally in Kauai Council member Felicia Cowden, convincing her to take a trip to Russia. Coming back, she even wrote an op-ed praising Russia. A, a bunch of levels I wasn't aware of. And, um, you know, like they say in a lot of rap songs, I don't, you know, you either want that smoke or you don't. And I didn't. And that smoke turned into fire. The Kauai Ethics Board saddled Cowden with a $500 fine for using her office to score the free Russia trip. But things didn't stop there. In a thank you note to Branson, Cowden claimed she was being watched. You know, to meet with two FBI guys in, in, in suits uh, is not part of my normal day-to-day -day job here. Councilmember Luke Evslin says the FBI questioned Kauai officials, but it wasn't until Branson was indicted and her possible connections to Putin were revealed that he realized just how deep this went. He says it now raises more questions about Cowden's trip. I would like to know as much as possible, and I think the public wants to know as, as much as possible um, about, you know, um, what happened on that Russian trip and, and where the money came from and if, you know, how much contact there has been since then. As for the next chapter in our story between Russia and Kauai, some hoping for a different ending. They should rename it Paula. I mean, clearly, that's the name. And if there's any confusion or, or question as to motivations, this informs you know, what the opposition is. Now, I called and texted Councilmember Cowden to get a response. She did not get back to me. Now, meanwhile, the Elena Branson case also has ties to another Hawaii politician. Federal elections records show the alleged Russian agent also donate, donated money twice to Tulsi Gabbard's presidential campaign. Tom George, KITV4, Island News.